Hey guys, Jeff with Westcott Designs. So we've got a couple things we're gonna go over with you today. Um, obviously we've got a new 2023 Solar Octane TRD Pro 4Runner here. We just installed one of our lift kits in it. Uh, we do get people online, phone calls, stuff that they ask, um, what with your lift kit, why is it different? Or how does it work? Or, you know, it's a strut, it's a spacer lift, whatever it is. The best way I can put this is I have found a uh, Fox 2.0 right here that has the dial here to put preload on the spring, which if you look at the two together, literally are doing the same thing. We're building all the preload in this collar where the preload is here in the adjustment. So you adjust this upward in return, puts preload on the spring, which in return gives lift to the vehicle. So you can do the dial up on the top here, but I felt like this was the best way to represent what we're trying to show here on the lift, um, where you're adjusting the dial here on the bottom, pushing the spring upward, which we are doing here. Um, so people say, oh, it's a spacer lift. Yes, it's round and it goes around the shock. It, it, it is a spacer, but it does not work the same way your traditional spacer lift does, which is on this strut here, um, it goes up on the top and it bolts on the top of the strut. Then what happens is it pushes the strut downward and that creates the lift that way. It doesn't put preload on the spring, it is pushing it downward. The downfall here in this situation is, is when you push the strut downward and this thing collapses itself and goes back up when you're using the suspension, this prematurely bottoms out here internally in the shock before it ever hits the bump stop back here on the control arm. The strut is not designed to hold the weight of the vehicle on a downward and then you're multiplying that weight coming down on the strut. So what it does is, where they're welded right here, it actually causes them to snap off. So does, does the spacer lift work? Yes. Do all of these lifts work? Absolutely. Do they all do the same thing, create lift? They do. And that's what I'm trying to point out here to customers is our lift is not going to cause your strut to fail. Is it going to increase the preload on the spring? Yes. Is it going to stiffen the ride slightly? Yes, it will. Um, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, but if you put a coilover in your vehicle, uh, a full Fox 2.5 coilover, which this is without the adjustment, it's the exact same shock body basically that they use in the Fox 2.5s that you can buy over the counter. When you adjust that to put more preload in it to create more lift for your vehicle, you're going to stiffen up the ride. So it's doing the exact same thing we're doing. I have a couple different ones that I want to show you. Um, I'm actually going to show you. Uh, this collar right here is uh, basically a uh, stock shock collar, lower collar here. And this is our replacement collar for this. So you can see the difference in here. This is stamped steel. This is a, started off as one solid piece of billet aluminum that we've machined the inside out. We've set the preload in it. We've set the spring uh, seat down here. Um, and then it gets from this and then we hard anodize it to turn it into like that. That is actually a different collar because every one of them use a different collar. I brought this one over here. This is actually a Fox front strut off of a TRD Pro. This strut here um, is basically got our collar on it already. This was the collar that came off of this. So you can see the difference in here, but it looks similar. They're both billet aluminum. Uh, this one actually I think is a casted piece and then they go back and they refinish this uh, the inside lip here uh, machined and then uh, that's how they get that so it's, it's precision and the housing inside here to get it to slide over because the tolerances are very tight. The one thing I can tell you, this is another company that makes a lift and this actually goes just underneath the top hat which is this piece up here. This goes just underneath the top hat. The problem is is when this strut compresses itself all the way down you'll notice that when it's fully compressed so if this goes all the way down it does not clear the top of the shock housing right here. It actually uh, has interference right here. So at uh, full compression, it actually bottoms out on the edge of this before it ever hits the bump stop. Um, and I have another video up that's earlier in the year uh, that we had shown that a demonstration of it actually in the vehicle and how it has interference here. This over a period of time, if you do off-road to the vehicle, will cause damage to the top of the shock or possibly uh, make the seal leak right here at the top. But this interferes right here. Another example is this one. This one actually replaces the top hat um, and it has, it actually runs interference here as well because of how much it pushes down. It actually runs in the top of the shock here. This is actually too much preload on the vehicle. 
Uh, it actually, when we test this, it actually has more preload in it than what our kit even does, but they have put it all in one spot. And the reason they've done that is because they only have to machine one part. Where our part is we machine the lower collar and there's a lot more tooling and time that goes in to get the step in it in our collar like this. And then the other thing is, is we only, we put a half inch of shim up on the very top. And the reason is now this is a spacer lift. So this goes up on the top and it is a shim, but we run only a half inch in this. And that's the one the truck completely collapses itself. It's not bottoming out internally and it's still using the bump stop the way it was designed. So we break it up into two parts and we do that so we can keep the safety, we can keep the ride and we can make the suspension work the way it was actually designed. And it's not gonna cause premature failure on your strut ever. Um, we've got over 30,000 kits that are out on the road these days. We sell over 3,000 of our lift kits a month, but I wanna tell you something. There's another one, and some people say, I'm not gonna mention any brands or whatever, but here, this is what the collar used to look like. When I lay this collar up over the top of this, you can see how much, this is a plastic piece. This, these, both these materials are called Delron, which is a hard plastic. And you take this and you put it in your suspension. This is doing the exact same thing as this. But you can see right here, by the looks of this, how it has already started to change its shape. So it's starting to compress, it's starting to push itself out. So over a period of time, what would happen is this would split or push itself out. Now, this goes up on the top, like we talked about here. Now this one here, because the lip is so shallow here, even at full compression, it does not bottom out on this. So at full compression, it's still using the bump stop. So I can tell you this, this is the closest design that's out there that we have found that works without compromising the shock or causing it to possibly fail. The downfall is as being plastic, again, you can see right here, it has already started to embed itself into here. This kit was on a vehicle for three months of time uh, for testing, and it has already started to change the shape of this plastic here. So uh, unfortunately, when you've got a vehicle and you spend $70,000 on a vehicle or $60,000 on a vehicle and you're gonna put a $150 lift kit in it, the chances of failure because it has so much spring pressure on it over a course of time or period of time with the elements, with the hot and the cold weather will cause that to crack or to split or to change shape as it has out here in Arizona. So I'm just showing you some different things that are out there with this stuff and the reason why we've done this lift is because we really want to sell our customer a product that works and that we're not gonna have to worry about failure or to have to worry about down the road, it causes their shock to leak or to snap off at the bottom. We literally put a lot of thought into this. It goes back into the factory location here. The shock still functions the way it was designed to and it doesn't compromise the ride as far as the up and downward travel. Does it stiffen up the ride? Yes, a little bit like we talked about, but that's because of the amount of preload we add and just like a coilover, you add preload to it, you increase the tension on the spring, it does stiffen up the ride. But we feel on the TRD Pro models, they've been set up very soft from the factory. We feel that they have a lot of up forward body lean at hard stops. We notice that swerving for potholes in the road, they have a lot of side to side body roll as well. So we're able to eliminate a lot of that with the design of this lift kit. This is probably our number one selling lift kit for the trucks. Uh, we get it set up front to back within a quarter inch. Um, we also, in the Tundras, it's been super popular in the Tundra models, but like I said, in the Tundra models, it has a much larger spring, so it increases the spring rate much faster. The other thing is, is that the shock travel, the length of it, the overall length of it is two inches shorter now on the new trucks than it was on the previous model Tundras. So we're very limited on how much we can actually lift the trucks. Plus the angle of the axles, you're, you're limited on the axles because the way they've designed them now, they've brought the housing up farther, the axles are shorter, so you, you have less angle to work with to compromise in the vehicle. So all this stuff plays in a part on what we're trying to do and accomplish for our customers. And obviously to have a product that we know that when it's out there in the marketplace is a good product and we know that it's gonna hold up for the customer and we know it's not gonna cause failure for the customer. Well, all, like I said, all these other items, all these other lifts, they work. They will work just fine if you don't decide to off-road with it. If you decide you're gonna off-road with it, we suggest that our lift, we feel that after all the testing we've done, is not going to compromise your suspension or cause it to fail prematurely down the road. So again, I hope this helps you understand on some of these different uh, available lifts on how our preload is added in, just like the Fox 2.0 coilover is for adjustment but we uh, thank you for watching.
our video and hope you enjoy it. And please let us know if you have any questions on any of this stuff. We'd love to answer it for you. Thank you so much.